siya nipoti sa emakaya siya bingelela realidume disa abshen de macheron uh, greetings uh, namhlanje si boyile uh, uh, wenza enye video uh, siya zuba signis kati best logo sigeko but uh, we are back we are going to be releasing uh, ama video more and more um, if you are checking out this video, please uh, subscribe, like, comment. Manga bufuna uguti, gunesi ndofuna uguti, uguz adreso wanyu, uguz buza zona. And today we are back. I want to do a video on a very important topic, very important topic, on why I believe white supremacy is luciferic. First of all, uh, let's start by defining briefly what white supremacy is. White supremacy is the belief or white supremacy is the myth of an inferior people. White supremacy is the belief that white people are inherently superior and therefore have the right to rule over other people, especially black people. They believe that they have the right to rule them politically, economically, socially and in all the spheres uh, of um, um, in all the various spheres they believe that they have that right to rule them even in when it comes to religious issues they believe that they have the right to rule them that's why within the christian faith you have what we call white paternalism it is born out of white supremacy now white supremacy is luciferic Beginning from the 19th century, uh, that's your 1800s, you know, when you had guys such as uh, well, Charles Darwin, you know, who were providing the world a naturalistic explanation for why we humans are here or how we have evolved over this long period of time. You then had other um, scholars, you know, um, sociological scholars, you know, religious scholars, all kinds of scholars, then coming in, also trying to provide some naturalistic worldview, just like Charles Darwin did, um, providing a naturalistic explanation for uh, how humans. Um, how humans have evolved over the long period of time, therefore take, taking away the supernaturalistic, substituting in fact the supernaturalistic worldview uh, which uh, was believed for um, uh, uh, since uh, mankind came on the planet that God brought us here. So now these sociologists then came in, such as Emil Duquesne, who came in and tried to provide also a naturalistic worldview for, you know, the origins of religion. Now, currently, you know, since, you know, the 1800s, 1884, if like I can, 1884, 1885, when the African continent was being colonized by the Europeans and then we had, you know, colonialism which uh, began uh, uh, to have such great impact after the Berlin Conference in 1885. You then had, you know, this white supremacist beliefs being spread you know across the African continent and also even in other continents and then with that happening you then had people who were opposing uh, this um, uh, ideology of white supremacy but now in this time that we are living in we are seeing you know many of this anti colonial activists and scholars also using naturalistic explanation you know in their critiques and in their opposition to white supremacy therefore substituting you know the supernaturalistic 
uh, kind of uh, uh, um, uh, explanations and refutations and oppositions to white supremacy. And now if you read many of these books, you get to see that most of the writings against white supremacy come from that angle of a naturalistic worldview. You know, for courting, forgetting that there are also supernaturalistic explanation to why we have white supremacy. Uh, you are seeing, first of all, that the Bible uh, teaches us about a being named Satan, named Lucifer. This being, as the Bible uh, talks about, is the father of all lies, as it says there in John uh, chapter 8, verses 44. And then you see that in 2 Corinthians, the Bible does teach us that his servants do masquerades as angels of lights. And we are told also that he is the ruler of this world. We are also told in the Bible that he is able to grant people power to dominate kingdoms. In Matthew chapter 8, as we made to chapter 4, verses 8 to 10, as you see the in the temptation of Jesus Christ, and he is able to use human agents in order to fulfill his purpose. Uh, we do see the with the life of Judas who betrayed and sold the Lord. And thus being uh, Lucifer, Satan, we do see the Bible talks about him in Ezekiel chapter 28 and in Isaiah uh, chapter 14, whom the Bible says he, he is the symbol of rebellion against God. He represents pride and arrogance. And all these, you know, attributes, all these aspects, we do see them manifesting in this ideology of white supremacy. White supremacy manifests these Luciferian attributes, deception, lies, murder, you know, hate, pride, arrogance, all of them are being uh, are manifested in this white supremacist ideology. And the people who have promoted white supremacy claimed that they were worshipping the God of the Bible. First of all, we do see that when Africa was colonized, you know, um, prior to 1884, the Europeans control 10% of uh, the African continent. And then after 1885, the Berlin Conference, we do see a rise in missionary organization coming to the African continent. But in 1652, let me just go back a little. In 1652, uh, when the Dutch came to South Africa, and then going on, you know, with the Dutch Reformed Church. The Dutch Reformed Church was a white supremacist organization. That was not a Christian church. You see, we see in the 1700s, the Baptists coming in and also them, you know, supporting, embracing, tolerating white supremacy. You know, the belief of this inferior people the belief that white people are superior. You know, they came here believing, you know, that they are superior to the natives, the black natives who lived in this land. And they went on justifying, you know, they went on to justify them dominating, ruling over them. So now, you do see that, you know, with the promotion of white supremacy, the promotion of white supremacy, you, you, you do see that there were religious elements. In fact, Christianity was some sort of like the engine. That corrupted, perverted Christianity was the engine to which drived, you know, white supremacy. 
you know they could then uh, bring after that viol uh, impose violence destroying killing raping uh, uh, women children men in Africa they could then bring in missionaries who are not going to oppose them but these missionaries will then come to pacify the natives in order to make them to tolerate their oppression you see and with white supremacy uh, and these white supremacists they had spiritual explanations to why they were doing what they were doing you know you had the curse of him you know black people being descendant of the devil black people having no soul you see those were spiritual explanation of why white supremacy why white people believe that they were superior and they believe that they were closer to god and therefore they had the right to then lead the natives in the way of light you know in which they believe that the native was in darkness and therefore they had to hide you know any history that suggested otherwise so that they can continue to maintain the belief the myth the biological fiction that they are inherently superior to the natives so you you do see that this was satanic you see uh, it was satanic because it first of all presented a false view of God a false view of man a false view of how a false view of reality it in fact perverted twisted reality to provide for this uh, lies you know that these people were superior and therefore Satan was behind behind that he is the principal agent behind those lies so the Bible says he's the father of all lies you see and when Christ speaks to the Jews he calls them that they are of the devil even Canaan is said to be of the devil you know because he did what he murdered his brother the Jews were of the devil because they wanted to carry out uh, the schemes of their father and that was to measure to murder Jesus uh, to kill the Lord and also to uh, leave to deny the truth which the Lord was uh, 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 preaching to them white supremacy was a murderous machine it uh, was opposed to truth it opposed the truth about God you know it uh, in fact had to in their belief that uh, black people were inferior you know they were cursed and all that it was going against what the Bible taught in Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 that you know man God created man in his own image so you then see you know how Satan was involved in all of that how white supremacy was in imitating these satanic attributes and therefore this is why I say white supremacy is luciferic another problem with um, the current uh, uh, liberal uh, humanism, humanism you know which also claims to be uh, opposing white supremacy is that they've substituted the supernaturalistic explanation to white supremacy which this supernaturalistic worldview is believed by billions of people in the world you see so by substituting this with the naturalistic explanation this is why you find that now many churches do not uh, believe uh, that um, in fact they are paying attention in opposing white supremacy and the harm it has caused in the black community because they then believe that no it's just a political thing that is out there you know they don't see it as a very satanic ideology that is very dangerous to the flourishment of humans in this world which was created by God you see so by only viewing it from this naturalistic explanation 
you are then creating that problem where now churches will then be opposing people who are opposing white supremacy because they are then believing them to be only engaging in politics and yet white supremacy is something that has to be opposed by the gospel the gospel has to play a part in opposing white supremacy and the gospel is from God it is supernatural you know it is not something which was created by man it is it comes from God you know God who is a spirit being you see therefore white supremacy is in fact opposing you know what God has in fact created a white supremacy is satanic and it is in rebellion against God because it promotes pride and arrogance now this is not to say that uh, whites uh, uh, white people are satanic uh, because that might be some of the uh, misconception we are not saying white people are satanic but the people who are promoting white supremacy in any other way are in fact promoting a luciferic uh, uh, doctrine they are promoting a satanic doctrine you see therefore this calls for them to uh, repent in fact resist you know promoting those destructive uh, uh, ideologies because white supremacy is destructive white supremacy is destructive it ought to be opposed by churches and everyone who um, loves God and hate to see the suffering of people and I believe that the Christian church has a lot to contribute and as it has been contributing you know in the last 500 years in opposing this white supremacy there's a lot that also needs to be done and yeah this is what I wanted to deliver today uh, I will end here that white supremacy is luciferic and it must be opposed by the church the church has to stop this thing of saying no this thing is a political issue no it is spiritual because here you are dealing with Satan who is behind this ideology and he's using people to promote this de deadly ideology which brings death and destruction and a lot of um, uh, 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 hateful things which uh, hinder human relations uh, which hinder a lot you know in terms of uh, humans relating to one another in promoting the brotherhood of all men in promoting our union you know as uh, our unity as uh, humans so white supremacy is the most dangerous ideology that has ever descended in the world for the past 500 years it is not communism it is not uh, those kind of uh, critical race theory that people that are in America they are even trying to ban that churches there are certain churches which are intent in opposing it but they are not doing this when it comes to white supremacy and thus you find happening a lot in white evangelical circles you know which in the past promoted this ideology of white supremacy therefore churches have to oppose white supremacy we have to oppose it uh, like in all spheres whether like they believe that they have this right to rule people politically economically so socially and also in the churches you know with white paternalism we have to oppose all of that and therefore this is where I will end thank you very much